projects don't fail because improperly implemented rules engine, for instance, you know, can be a huge bottleneck. And on the management side, you kind of have to hold their hand and, well, not really hold their hand, but really kind of gap the vision and the implementation side of things. Because what happens often is that the vision gets out of whack with the, you know, the implementation very quickly. You know, enterprise architecture or C-level executives say, where well, we're going so off full blast down there, it's actually, you know, still Java, maybe, or, you know, it's really stovepipe applications. And, you know, so it's really about bridging that gap between the management and, you know, being attached to day-to-day -day projects and kind of, you know, bubbling this stuff up. But right now we see Solo is mostly IT driven right now, as I explained earlier, probably, uh, and really very high level, um, you know, executive kind of sponsorship. But no, no buy-in in the middle of the business where, you know, salespeople don't care. So um, we're out of time, but if you, do you have any other sort of uh, guidance for the audience here in terms of, uh, you know, if they're starting to look at SOA and? Uh, just, yeah, keeping in mind that there is a lot of aspects of them and, uh, you know, web service is not a SOA. Just putting up a web service does not mean that you're into service-oriented architecture. Uh, so, you know, I, I would call us and really kind of do uh, some kind of, thing where, you know, we'll come out and, and talk to you guys, but you know, it, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, if you guys haven't kind of done it firsthand, it, there's a lot of stuff involved. Great. Excellent. Max, right. thank you very much. Oh, sure. Anytime. Thank you.